everything went upside down, but I never thought of closing my small business ever. Welcome to Boost My Business, the show where we help small business owners reach some big, big goals using Facebook tools. I am working with businesses to help them truly understand their online marketing in a way that is both personal and engaging. There are so many amazing entrepreneurs out there who have great ideas that are just waiting to be found. Which brings me to today's business, Turkish Coffee Lady. I cannot wait for you to meet Gazem. She's an entrepreneur and a philanthropist who even started a nonprofit to support fellow female entrepreneurs. And she's only just scratched the surface of what I know she can accomplish. How are you? I really live and breathe my cultural heritage. This is my passion and this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I want to build something for my baby girl. With this pandemic, everything went upside down. So when the store got closed, it wasn't just a store. You know, it was like all the dreams, everything I ever worked for, they were just gone. But I never thought of closing my small business ever. I knew that I was gonna make it work. I started researching about how we can create a new strategy. And here's our new coffee blend, Istanbul. All the way from Turkey. I am launching my own coffee blends and I wanna make sure I'm engaging the right audience with the right message and the right product. Hi, Gazam. Hi, Tan. I've started making Turkish coffee. I've got the ingredients down. It's boiling, but I need your help from there. Absolutely. So if it's already frothing up, pour it very gently. Any technique I need to know? Pour it from one side so the coffee grinds can settle to the bottom and let it sit for like a minute. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, Gazam. Tell me, first of all, how did you end up starting this business? Have you always had a passion for coffee? Turkish coffee is the world's first coffee brewing technique. But when I arrived in the US, people really didn't know about Turkish coffee. I realized that this was my passion and I wanted to, you know, really educate new audiences and at the same time, bridge cultures. You are a, an entrepreneur, you're a philanthropist, you're a diplomat, you're a mom. Of course, you don't have hours upon hours to be able to create content, but your story is so important. And I think that's the thing that's gonna encourage people to first look you up and then stay around. What is your actual goal when it comes to social media? I wanna make sure, you know, I'm reflecting my story effectively. There's the history, there's the culture, and there's the woman entrepreneurship story. So I wanna make sure I'm giving a straightforward message to my audience. I'm gonna set you up with our Facebook strategist who's going to be able to help you figure out what things you can do to really encourage more engagement. Sound good? Sounds fantastic. All right, let's go. Let's, let's go, let's do it. I wanted to give her the gift of cultural heritage. We started a foundation called Turkish Coffee Foundation, and it is the world's first coffee diplomacy association. From every purchase, we actually donate to women leadership and mentorship programs. Bravo. Very nice. Good job. You're going to be a great Turkish coffee lady. Gazem is already an amazing business owner because she's leading authentically. I encourage anyone who's thinking about starting a business to pull from personal experiences. That's exactly what I did when I created my businesses. I was catering to my family's needs and therefore I always remembered who my customer was. When you're sharing something you really love with the world, everybody wins. Hello, Julie. Hi, Tan. I so desperately want to talk about Gazem. She's so impressive. She's managed to create a community, but she's wanting to increase that community and we want to help her. You're right, Tan. She is an incredible woman with an incredible business story. And she's been doing so well on Instagram, connecting with her audience. But because she has such a great product like coffee, I think we can actually get her to create some video content and also even use stories to engage her audience through polls. 
she can really get that real-time feedback on what they want to see, and it gives her opportunities to talk about the history and even the component of giving back and how generous she is with her business. So, we need to get Gazem to do a poll to find out what her audience wants to actually see. We need to get her to post content based on that poll and just continue to post more often in her stories. You nailed it, Tan. That's exactly it. And she's so passionate. I think that will come across through all her content and I can't wait to help her. Thank you so much for your time and I'll speak to you soon. Good luck. Thanks, Tan. Not sure what kind of content your customers want from you? Easy, ask them. Use Instagram story stickers to open up a Q&A, a poll or a quiz to get their feedback and generate insights that you can leverage over time. Hey, Gazam, it's so good to meet you. Hi, Julie, so nice to meet you as well. I love that you're actually growing a community already over culture and coffee. Can you tell me a little bit about what you've been doing on Instagram so far? So I try to, you know, um, have content daily. I realize I need something more engaging. I really would like to reach out to new customers and hopefully educate them on this fascinating uh, coffee culture. Do you have a sense of what your audience would like to see more of? People are, um, you know, interested in learning more about the coffee, you know, how to brew it at the same time. I created a line of Turkish coffee gourmet series. From each sale, I'll be donating 5% uh, to women entrepreneurship programs. Is, that, is there anything that your coffee or your business can't do? <laughs> I think we should use Instagram stories to really showcase how delicious your coffee is, but also showcase the different varieties and blends that you're coming out with. A simple way to do that would be to have you actually show your delicious coffee from an overhead shot, and that way we can actually even talk about the two different blends and get some insights on what your audience would like to learn more about. That sounds lovely. Well, I will do this. I'm going to put together a couple of notes for you just to help guide you through shooting the content, and we'll be in touch. That sounds like a plan. Thank you so much, Julie. I look forward to it. Ladies, welcome. Ladies, welcome. Happy spring. <laughs> Last year on this day, we actually announced the store closure. Yeah. Oh. It is sad, but at the same time, new doors open. New doors are opening, new opportunities, and you know, we're just creating a new vision. It's just such an incredible opportunity for me to grow my small business and promoting our Turkish culture and empowering women at the same time. So I really feel like we have a strong mission. Naturally, incorporate your branding into your content so that people recognize it and they remember that it's you. There are so many easy ways to get your logo and branding into the background of your content. Gazem showed up for her business and finally cracked the code on how to let Instagram help serve her customers in the ways they want. Turkish Coffee Ladies Foundation was always strong, but now she's maximizing her potential in all kinds of new ways. Let's see what she's been up to. Hello, Gazam. Hi, Ben. <laughs> I must know, which of the two blends won the post? The winner is Light and Milky, Marden. Good, Gazam. Do you feel like this poll, these ads, they're going to help you connect with a much greater audience? Absolutely. I was able to see how people were reacting to my new products, age group I was targeting, the demographics, and we had more than 100,000 impressions, which was amazing. Wow! I felt so confident when I was, you know, watching the poll results because I was engaging new customers, yeah. but at the same time, wow. our current customers reached out to me and they said, we see your new products and it's so exciting that you're gonna make a comeback. Do you enjoy creating content now for your social media, for these ads? I am having so much fun because I didn't know I had this potential. Now I feel so resilient because I was, you know, able to fight with cancer. I was able to pivot my business during COVID. And now, you know, I feel like I can do anything on social media now. And best is yet to come. I know the best is yet to come. Continue to play and enjoy the process and you will gain greater engagement and positive. Thank you so much, Dan. Truly appreciate it. So grateful for everything. Thank you, my love. I appreciate it. It's so good to see you, Gizem. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. 
There are so many great ideas out there and I'm planning on finding them all. See you next time on Boost My Business. Take one, Mark. To promote... Sorry. Your... This is a wrap. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.